Hey guys, it's Malawak, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Hermitruid. Yep, that's right, another legacy video. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the uh, Hermitruid combo decks. Um, so I figure we should probably uh, just just get started on this thing. Let's let's get into it. All right. So basically, the biggest draw about this kind of combo deck is it's more or less a one card combo. So that's pretty sweet. Um, basically you win the turn that you, you're able to mill your entire library, which is sweet. Um, uh, there are other decks, of course, in Legacy that are similar to this. You know, the Belcher, Oops All Spells, things like that. I mean, there's tons of, uh, you know, uh, basically Glass Cannon style decks, Belcher style decks. Um, and there are, obviously there are weaknesses to this style of strategy anymore. Um, it's not 2003 extended, so there are there are things to do. Uh, but let's let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you the list that I made. But let's look at the list of the Oops All Spells deck. So this is like pretty much the closest thing that we'd want to be be doing. Um, I took the list off the source, uh, off the the um, the Oops All Spells basically uh, uh, thread, and this is the newest one I could find. Looked pretty good. Um, but yeah, basically the combo is Narc Amoebas. So once you mill your entire library into the graveyard with uh, Hermit Druid, you Narc Amoeba and then Fred return um, the Narc Amoebas. And of course you can sack one of the, the last Narc Amoeba to therapy if you have both in the graveyard. Um, and then you get Angel of Chorus Rise, which returns your uh, guys back to play. And then you tap your Lab Maniac, draw a card, because you have no cards in your library. Uh, you win the game, and if they have a removal spell, you can uh, tap the Azami in response, too. Um, but I guess if they have another one, you die, which is bad. So yeah, this is, this is a basic combo. I think this is the best one I could find uh, of what you'd want to be doing to, to instantly win. I think if there are, there might be other combos, but I think they're more like you need more cards and stuff, so that's obviously not what we want. Okay, so here's here's what we're we're looking working with um, for creatures. Basically, the only ones we're casting Hermit Druid, and then the combo stuff of Narc Amoeba, the, the Angel, Lab Maniac, and a Zombie. Um, of course, we have ESG and Lotus Petal for fast mana, because if if possible, we really want to ramp out that. Uh, Hermit Druid as fast as possible, um, because I mean, obviously, the the slower he comes out, the less likely are uh, we are to actually untap with him. Um, and then we have tutors for everything, for or I should say tutors for the Hermit Druid. So we have Worldly Tutor, of course, um, and then Brainstorm Ponder Preordain uh, for just you know cantrips, card selection, Force, uh, Therapy Thoughtsies, and of course the random Dread Return. Uh, yeah, but um, I guess you could play something like Pax in, in, in the place of like some of the Thoughtseize or something, like Pact of Negation. Um, Green Pact and uh, Green Sun Zenith probably aren't really where you want to be. Uh, I mean, they're okay, but um, they kind of ask quite a bit of you. Uh, obviously, Green Sun Zenith wants more mana, and then Pact says you kill them in response to the trigger if you can. Which is sometimes too much, I think. Um, but yeah, this is, I mean, yeah, all your 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 tutors, your uh, cantrips, your uh, uh, disruption or anti-disruption, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then for lands, just fetches and and dual lands. And then of course the random dryad arbor uh, to play around stuff like um, uh, edict effects. Those are those can be pretty pretty common. Uh, so being able to fetch a, a Triad Arbor in response to an Edict is pretty cool, pretty good. Um, and the sideboard is just, I mean, anti-combo stuff. I mean, you probably maybe see stuff like Null Rod or whatever. Um, discard, Force of Vigor, Abrupt Decay, Veil, um, uh, Reverend Silence, stuff like that. Stuff you'd see like in other combo deck sideboards. Yeah, nothing too weird here. Um, it's basically just... Uh, yeah, uh, just your just your typical typical combo stuff. 
All right, so uh, yeah, but like I said, this this deck is um, it's basically just another glass cannon deck. I mean, there's a ton, a ton of really good uh, like, I mean, really black red reanimator is kind of like the poster boy for for glass cannon decks, but it's actually good, <laughs> you know. I uh, guess guess Gristlebrand will do that, right? Um, like, there's an insane amount of one man removal. We you know we have plow and bolt and push um i mean even stuff like uh, spell snare unfortunately like hermit druid being two mana falls into that too which is obviously not good in addition to stuff like days force so that's that's not good um and, and of course stuff like force negation two hits hits your uh uh dread return and that's a problem um so that's that's not good so the, the biggest issue is that, like, this guy is vulnerable to basically everything. I mean, literally everything. You know, so uh, it doesn't help that stuff like uh, Surgical Extraction, one of the most played spells in in the format, uh, especially, like, you know, they can Surgical, you counter it or something, they can snap Surgical as early as the second turn. So, especially since you're typically not going off any faster than the second turn, really puts a lot of pressure on you. Um, especially if you want to, you know, deal with stuff like Piping Needle and and Phyrexian Revoker and crap like that, uh, Leyline and the Void, lots and lots of issues there. So, I mean, I guess you could say it's probably. I, I think this card is like really overrated for the most part. Um, actually, I think there's a card that does a better job than it. Yeah, that's right. Can you believe it? Can you even imagine what's it like to be cucked by a crustacean? Yeah, that's probably not a good thing. So, uh, I mean, I pretty much don't think I would ever want to play something like Hermit Druid when I could just play Hogak. I mean, why wouldn't I? Like, you can still mill them out. I mean, you can mill yourself first, and then you can mill them out. That's twice as much milling. Twice as much milling. Uh, yeah, that's... uh. It's, it's not something I'd... I mean, like, the nicest thing about uh, Hedron Crab is you can just, like, slow roll it with fetch lanes and stuff. And, like, just the way that uh, um, casting Hogak works, like, one-shot effects like Relic or Crypt aren't that good. Just to the way, you know, like, holding priority, casting your spells, that kind of stuff. Um, where you, you, just, you can really minimize the amount of, of damage you take from Graveyard Hate. I mean, and you have, like, an actual backup plan. You can run basic lands. You still have, like, the turn, like, three kill randomly, you know, with uh, with Alter of Dementia with an extremely strong backup plan. Very strong against stuff like uh, Surgical Extraction. Um, you make better use of therapy. I mean, it's just a better deck overall, really. I mean, you're not really, like, super hamstrung by, like, needles and stuff like that. Um, you can still play Force of Vigor, Abrupt K, all that kind of good stuff. Um, yeah. I mean, you don't have to, like, cry if your opponent plays, like, a, like a, like a shock. You know, it doesn't just ruin your deck. So that's good. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much my, uh, that's pretty much my take is, like, a lot of these cards on the fan list, I'm like, I mean, oh, these create degenerate decks, it's like, except they're worse than the decks we have already. I'm like, why would I want to play it? Like, why would I want to play Hermit Druid when I could just play Reanimator? I, I don't quite get it. Oh, well. Well, who gives a shit? So, Hermit Druid sucks. Eternal Virgin. Cucked by, cucked, cucked by Hegion Crab. So, there you go. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Not much else to say. This pretty much says it all. So, uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this. Give you something to think about. Get that noggin jogging. Uh, so, thanks for stopping by, guys. And have a great day.